Now I rejoice in what I am suffering for you. And I fill up in my flesh what is still lacking in regards to Christ's afflictions. For the sake of his body, which is the church, I have become its servant and my com- and by the commission God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness. The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but now is disclosed to the Lord's people. To them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of all this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one we proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom, so that we may present every as such, and, and the path, in, the purpose it was handed to him, he became, the wind, and I am calling to you, come on, let's go, and you scrub your face, you get your shower, you get dressed, and you go right back towards God, love. doesn't necessarily mean that we have to follow that part of the example. The most important part of that example is that you will always be somehow serving your purpose and you will do it with passion. When the moment arises, you, where, wherever your passion lies, that you address that passion. You address that purpose. And you work towards it. It doesn't mean that some, some try to say that, oh, I don't have a vocation to talk about the the God's love, God's word, because I didn't go to seminary. I didn't go to a formal Bible study or any of that. That doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that you cannot be serve your purpose in our community. Be passionate about what you do, but be passionate about God's love. It just means that you have a different path towards it. But our community needs all those paths to be filled. All we need everyone to walk their path towards it. Because others will follow. Others will follow that your path till they find their path. So you have to walk that path and allow others to follow with you. That's part of it. You will find it. God will will call you to it. But I caution you of this. God's voice isn't going to be in most cases, the burning bush. It isn't going to be the, the the voice that knocks you off the horse. It isn't going to be a fish swallowing you up and 
carrying you until you decide to listen. It's not going to be one of those things. But what it will be is a whisper. Something blowing in the wind. A gentle tug. Or a slight push. It could be somebody that you meet. And we don't know what their face will look like. It could be a homeless person. Or it could be somebody that is you would revere as extremely successful. The thing is, is that God will speak to us in all ways possible. In all ways impossible. We have to be open, open our heart, open our mind, open our spirit, so that we are always listening. Let us pray. Lord, help us to open our hearts, our minds, our whole entire beings to your love and to your message. Help us to be listening at any given moment so that we hear you call us, hear you speak to us, hear your message so we follow our purpose. Allow your spirit to come to us when we find that purpose so that we can serve that purpose with passion and serve your glory. Make our sacrifices, our motions, our deeds acceptable and lovable to you. Amen.